Hello, hello friends and loyal Wolfpack members, Chaos Wolf here and welcome back to the Elite Dangerous 2.0, otherwise known as the Horizons Beta Server. And I am still here in Silver's uh, Keep. Now, <laughs> it was kind of pointed out that uh, in my last video, the one with, which I called my first planetary landing, which apparently, apparently I misspelt as well, well, no apparently about it, but uh, it was stated that I kind of landed more on the landing pad than the planet, and this is completely true, and I really did not think about this. Um, so what we're going to go and do is we are going to go and launch and have a look around on this planet a little bit, see if we can find anything else. So let's get the hell out of here. And I just realised that this space is held by the League of Jonai Defence Forces. Okay, so let's get ourselves up. Okay, so let's get up and go and have a look and see if we can find anything interesting. So, we are now 15 and a half kilometres above ground. And yes, I know I called it the floor last time, but I couldn't think of the name at the time. Apologies, but I am kind of dyslexic and I do often forget the names of things. I'm pretty sure you'll have noticed this by now, if you're a regular on this channel. But just look at the, uh, the surface of this icy moon. Alright, well let's have a look over and let's see what else we've got. Um, nothing that's really showing up here. But let's just pick a direction and go there. Hmm. You know what? I like the look of that big pot, uh, that big uh, crater over there. I was about to call it a pothole, but <laughs> that's not what it is. We also have a mountain over there as well, which looks interesting. But I don't plan on going to any big mountains on this planet. And the main reason being is this is an icy planet. So, let's get a little bit closer. Well, we're still on our way, but I did kind of think as well that I have actually just recently fixed up my uh, my head look again. So we can have a look around, but I, I do love the uh, the sight of the stars here and the, the galaxy and the set of the core. Because off towards there would be Sagittarius A. But what gets me is I'm not sure of the how, how scientifically accurate this really is. Because I do think that due to the lack of atmosphere and how light the ground is, there'll be so much light pollution we shouldn't really be able to see this. I might I might be wrong with that, but I'm not I'm not uh, convinced this is how it would look scientifically accurately in real life. But like I said, I could very well be wrong. But I do think this is cool because we can have we can flip around and have a look, make everybody seasick. <laughs> can see the other galaxies off in the distance. At least I think they're galaxies. They look like it. So we are getting very close to where we want to be. So you know what I. Th think we'll get a little bit closer we'll go down we'll land and we will go and uh, explore the rest of the way on ground on the ground there we go we're getting close to the ground so let's lock the head look and do this normally from now on there you go we're less than a kilometer up there you go we can Start seeing some distinct features on the ground. So we've got to slow down. Got to pitch up, pitch down. Oh, wrong way. There we go. We've got a good alignment. So let's let's get to take it down very gently. The last couple of meters. 
And there we go, I have actually landed on the planet. You can't say that I haven't now. <laughs> so, what I am going to go and do is we are going to go and uh, have a look down at our SRV. So, let's go and deploy this vehicle. And there we are, getting up out of our seat. And here we are in the SRV. There's our wheels unfolding. So let's reverse. Oh, I don't think I can reverse out of here. So let us take this very slowly because as aforementioned, this is an icy planet. And there we are. There's our ship. Just look at how big that thing is. Because we are in something that's kind of larger than most cars. And there it is. That's my... Uh, <laughs> that's the Viper Mark IV. Yeah, no wonder I couldn't reverse out. I forgot about the landing gear at the front. So, let's have a look around. Alrighty, so let's go and... Uh, come on. Yeah, this is an icy planet, so it's very... Very hard to control the uh, the SRV at times. So let's put the handbrake on. Throttle down to neutral. And uh, let's go and dismiss the ship. So there we go. There's the, uh, the docking bay closing. And there it goes. Bye bye ship. I'll see you soon. Oh, it's still going. All right, so that's that. Let's lock. The, let's lock the headlock again for the moment. And I do believe the way we wanted to go was up here over these mountains. So let's make our way over. Now I am a little concerned about bigger rocks because this this uh, uh, the SRV or the buggy does handle a bit differently on uh, the different types of terrain. And this icy terrain, so it slips and slides like no one's business. It's absolutely brutal at times. So let's go and see if we can find anything in this uh, in this crater. Let's see how long it takes us to get there. Hello, come on. Ah, ah. Straight forward, come on. Looks like we're going to have to start getting a bit serious at how the hell we're going to get up here. Oh, hello. Oh, there we go. Recovered that one nicely. I really was not expecting that. I've had a little bit of practice at this SRV, at the at the buggy already. And that's really just because I was uh, sorting out my, uh, my controls. Just because we really needed to get it fixed. Hello. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, hello. Come on, come on. Let's get this down. Oh, there we go. We've lost a little percentage. Oh, there we go. Come on, there we go. We're back going the right direction at least now. It looks like we've got a big steep climb ahead of us. Now, I have this set to assist on, technically for uh, for this SRV. But what that really means in SRV terms... Come on! There we go. What that really means in SRV terms is it sets it to... If you pull your... your uh, basically, you set your throttle acceleration forward, it'll stay where you set it. So it's basically a toggle acceleration. And that works really well for... Uh, for if you have a flight stick such as mine with the uh, with the proper throttle so that really helps especially since if you look down we are using oh hello we are using a uh, we are using a flight stick here so that is 
why I have it set to how I have it. But I'm going to take a bit of a dip, a bit more of an in-depth look at the controls I'm using in another video because I am uh, not sure if it is how I'm going to keep it yet. As yet, even. Because it does feel like I'm getting used to it a lot more, but uh, I'm not sure if it's how I want to keep it. Now, we're not going as fast as I'd like to be going, but we can... There we go. Look at that. We've lost another couple percent on the, the SRV. The thing is a very, very delicate little machine, it seems. And we are only at uh, 0.12 Gs. So the gravity really is not that strong. We don't have a very high prevalent gravity. And there we go. You can tell that because we're completely airborne. And you can see by the little meter that pops up when we go up. Let's see if we can get it again. So when we come down, there you go. You can see it there. Yeah, that one. That basically shows us how uh, how fast we're coming down and with how much force we're going to be landing. If it goes into the red zone, that means that we're going to start taking damage. So we need to keep our uh, lateral thrusters so that we can uh, basically counteract that. And look, we're still nowhere near the top of the <laughs> of the uh, the crater yet whoa come on let's there we go we still hit a little harder but the shield took a lot of the brunt of that so the SRV shields not is kind of designed to take a little bit of the brunt of full damage but not much but well, this place seems to be completely peppered with rocks. So let's do some nice little occasional bursts just to make it so that we land nice and gently. Come on, how long does it take you to get to the top of here? Let's have a look around. Wow, this is cool. Oh, I would say it is more cool. But there we go. There, there we go. Let's slow down, slow down, slow down. Handbrake. And let's carry on going again. So that was a little bit worrisome. Oh, doing it again. There we go. We lost another percent, but we managed to, to kind of survive that one. Uh... Head look at high speed on the ground does tend to take a little bit of getting used to. Oh, could we be getting near the top? Or maybe, I don't know, let's find out. Ah, ah, ah. Whoa. <laughs> wow, oversteer. Oversteer, hello. A lot of these rocks on the ground don't actually do anything. Oh, there we go. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. That I really was not expecting. Well, look, well, looks like we found the top of the crater, at least. <laughs> that was worrying. And we've ended up turning the wrong way because we were, were heading away. Or have we reached the top of the crater? I don't know. Maybe that was just a lip on the crater. Because it does seem like we've got a long ass way left to go. So let's see how much further we can go. Oh, we're airborne. There we go. I'm getting the hang of this a little bit more. But anyway, I say this and I'm probably going to end up crashing the damn thing. So it just goes to show how fast the ships travel, because the ships travel way faster than this. Uh oh, uh oh.
Yeah, that didn't go the way I wanted it to. Well, let's get our traction back again. <laughs> you know what? I sometimes I sometimes feel like I've had uh, the proverbial baptism of in flames. Although technically, this is the complete opposite. It's baptism by ice or baptism by icy planet right now. I did happen to choose. I did have to choose the most difficult planet to drive on to begin with, didn't I? But it it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's really not that bad. It's a very different experience to flying the ships. Let's see if we can get to the top of that little uh, that little uh, hill there. I say little hill, it's probably a ways away. It's probably a really big mountain. But now seeing how delicate these SRVs can be, I have a feeling that I'm going to be wanting to take more than one of these with me when I go out exploring. Because that's one of the things I plan to do once we're uh, 2.0 or Horizons, well, basically Horizons goes live is I want to go and uh, go on a big long exploration trip with my anaconda and uh, take a couple of SRVs with me. Now the uh, the SRV bay that I'm using at the moment is only a class 2 in my ship and that allows me to carry uh, one SRV. But the, the hangars, the SRV hangars, are, or the garages perhaps, probably a more apt term for them, are... Uh, they come in many sizes, so they come to much larger sizes. I have a feeling they're all going to be even sizes, they're not going to be any odd sizes. So that's just the feeling I get, because they, I think they're going to be going in multiples of four. So, uh, it takes four tons. Uh, well. A, uh, an SRV takes up four tons of cargo space in your ship. So I think that's what it's going to be. Hello, rocks. There we go. Managed to hop you hop over you. So I think in the... We're going to be able to take quite a few of them in an anaconda. So I think that might be the best of ideas as well. Because I have a feeling in the course of a long exploration trip, we're going to be losing the SRVs quite regularly. And have I turned sideways a little bit? I think I have. Well, this is kind of cool. I really wish, I w I wish I'd have found a big canyon now. That'd have been more fun to go in. Well, I think we'll try that next time. We'll try in a rocky planet instead. Get a bit more traction so I'm not quite <laughs> sliding all over the place. Uh-oh. So, where are we? Slow down, come on, come on, come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Managed to control that one perfectly. I did originally try having the controls for this ship on my, uh, my twist grip. On my uh, flight stick, but that really did not work. Especially when I was uh, going airborne, because the... The roll uh, when you're airborne is also controlled by your side to side, by your left and right steering movements when you're in the car. Uh, the buggy even, or the SRV, whatever you want to call it. So uh, it really just did not translate very well. But this is kind of interesting. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. So let's get ourselves. Uh, I love the screeching of tyres as well. Although theoretically with no atmosphere we technically shouldn't be able to hear them but then that would be just really weird. Just being able to hear muffled noises which are from the uh, the vibrations from the uh, well basically from the chassis of the SRV. That would be really interesting to hear. But it might not make for the best of uh, immersive gameplay. Well, it still looks like we're still going up. Oh, 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 come on, come on, let's recover this one. There we go. So 
So yeah, I do feel like I'm getting a lot more used to this control, uh, control system. So that's pretty much going to be the next video I do is going to be... Oh! It's going to be on controlling the SRV and getting the keybind set up. Because when we first start out... Hello! Oh, that was close. Right, there we go. That's much better. The amount of times this thing goes airborne is ridiculous. And I am wondering whether these kind of rocks and stuff are going to end up... On all the planets are going to end up being kind of uh, mineable. So that's going to be interesting. Let's see if we can get to the top of here. Then again, we've been going up pretty much. Well, that's actually that's, well, that's all the way back, isn't it? Ah, donuts. It is very interesting the way we control this. But I think I have pretty much just been mucking about enough in this SRV at the moment. But let's actually go and have a look at it uh, externally. I mean, there we go. It looks very, very tiny. You can see that we've got the, uh, the thrusters in the wheels. They are set to increase the gravity for us. So basically, it just provides downward thrust to keep us attached to the floor. Uh, to the ground, even. Floor, ground, whatever. You know what I mean. And where are we? we you can see us right in there, right inside the little, the little ball cockpit there. The little wheel. But uh, it's just really tiny. This thing is not that big. Yet it is still bigger than some cars, really. So, it's... It's it's a, a tiny little thing. So, let's have a look at how big it is in relation to our ship. I mean, let's let's uh, recall our ship, shall we? Let's put head look back on. Where are we? Where's our ship? Come on, where are you? Context. It's not showing up yet. Ah, it's coming in 13 seconds. Uh, okay, so let's have a look. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There it is. So, let's lock. There it is. Just look at it coming, all nice and graceful at the moment. It's rather amusing how my ship can can land more gracefully than I can. So, here we go. So we want to have a look at how. There we go. So let's lock the headlock again. Oh, no. Why are you going forward? I didn't tell you to go forward. Oh, look at that. Just look at the difference in size. Now just look at the difference in size here. It almost looks like a little mummy bird coming out of its... A little baby bird coming out from its mummy. Oh, that's weird. Well, that is awesome. But I have noticed that when you land on the planet, your uh, your landing gear extends further so that you can you can actually get your your SRV under your ship. 
So that's interesting, but it does look like we're not going to be able to get under. So let's just see how that works. So let's... Let's try and get under. Oh, we've managed it somehow. Okay, are we in place to go to... Uh, no, we're not in place yet. So, ah, ha, 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 this is really weird. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be in place there either. And I keep hitting the landing gear, so let's line ourselves up a little bit more efficiently. You know, trying to do speedy takeoffs is going to be very interesting. There we go. Let's see if we're in place. No, still need to get a little bit closer. Why can't I get in? There we go. Just it seems that we need to go a little bit further forward. So let's go and board the ship. There we go. We're folding up. I can't get to the camera outside now. I was very curious to see how the, f the SRV would look uh, collapsed. Well, there we go. We're now inside. I'm curious to see something now. Nope, looks like we cannot actually uh, deploy our weapons whilst we are uh, basically docked. So that was really kind of interesting. But anyway, that's pretty much going to be enough for this video. I think I've done enough just driving around and randomly prattling. So if you have enjoyed the video, please do consider hitting those like and subscribe buttons because they really do help my channel out. But anyway, guys, remember, I've been Commander Chaos Wolf. You've been epic. I will see you next time. And until then, keep flying and stay shiny.